Hey, it's JC here at JC's Comics. Some more your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue. That's Toledo, Ohio. 436 1741 931 Instagram JC's Comics and more. www.jc's Comics and more.com. Got some Spider Mans. I'm going to uh, kind of showcase here some of my back issues. I got a couple guys that uh, I think would like to see those. And then also, I was going through one of the many pull uh, boxes of people who have not picked stuff up and ran across some of these Walking Dead blind bags that we're putting out at eight bucks each. So there's a one, there's a two, there's a 19, there's a 27, 53, 92, 98, 100. 108 and 127 again, you know, somebody did not pick their comics up and finally I uh, finally went through Comics that have been sitting there for way 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 too long and finally starting to pull those out Because if they haven't been in the last six seven months, they're never coming in. I've got uh, pe Problems with people coming in every two months, but anyways Here's these comics here, these amazings, and we'll pause at different points so I can put them back into the bin there. But we've got number 54, I've got $60 on that. We'll try to you know, look at some of these a little bit, just to get a little bit better idea as far as what they look like. Uh, but that does have a subscription crease right there. We've got another 70 for 25 of course, badly faded. But these are good reader copies, these are all good reader copies, which is a, kind of the point of this here. Got a number 88. Got uh, $14 on that. We've got there's a 104 for $40. A little bit nicer copy there. You know, certainly not mint, but certainly a nicer copy. We've got a 103. Look at that. Comics are out of order as people can't put comics back to the same place. Speaking of putting not putting comics back. I, was, I waited to do this video to show that here we've got Adventure Comics, and then it jumps to Avengers, and then it jumps to All Americans. So I'll put those Avengers back where they belong. But we've got a 103 for thirty dollars. We've got a 105. Actually, I got a couple of 105s here. We've got one for hundred dollars. We've got one for thirty dollars, and they put the ink on there. That's dabbled down the side there. They have it all over the place. They're over. They're a mess. They're shooting it, shooting that that blue all over the place. At thirty on that, I got several 106s. I got one hundred dollars on this 106 here. I got sixty on that one there. I had a chance to buy the original art for this back in uh, 1984. That's a, a sad story. Um, Get a 107, several 107s. So you got 30 on that 107 right there. I got 45 on that 107 here. I've got 55 on this 107. We got 95 on this 107. And we've got $40 on that 107. It seems to be the spidey I have the most of right now. Oh, and I've got a $70 one. So little little did I know that I still have more. And probably should put one on my wall. I don't have any 107s on the wall. I've got so many I should probably put one on the wall. But we've got 70 on that. Then we jump to 109. I've got 70 on the 109. I've got 45 on the 110. I've got 30 on that 110. 114, I've got 55 on that number 114 right there. Hammerhead. We are buying that as a kid, buying these comics as kids. 115 with Aunt May. Aunt May shoots, shoots Spider Man. I've got 55 on that 115. I've got 116, I've got 17 on that one. I've got 45 on that one. $15 on the 117 and 55 on the other 117 118 I've got one for $14 got one for $75 got one for $45 124 first appearance of the man wolf got one for $50 
got one for $80. Again, remember buying these when I was a kid. Uh, got one twenty-five, one for fifty dollars. One twenty-six, the return of the kangaroo. One for ninety-five dollars. One for seventy dollars. One twenty-seven, the new vulture. Another new vulture. Got one for thirty dollars. And we'll pause this quickly, and I'll give out the next. Got another 127 for 45 dollars. And with any of these, anyone that's perhaps online that wants to interested in doing mail order, if you're uh, if you want better like photos of these, you can certainly email me at JC's Comics and More. That's J C S C O M I C S N M O R E at hotmail.com. JC's Comics and More at Hotmail. Or uh, so we can go ahead and do that. And it might have to give me a couple of days. Sometimes I get busy in here and don't get a chance to check my my uh, my email every day. Uh, sometimes it's just I got so much stuff going on. But 128, we got a 12. Let's see the number 129. I have oh no, I got another 128. I've got 35 on this 128. Uh, the the 129 uh, I have oh uh, another 128. I've got 65 on that 128. The 129 I don't have, so I don't have a price on that. Wish I had 129s. Uh, 130. I've got $30 on. I've got $30 on this 130. Uh, I've got 32 on that 130. I've got $10 on that one thirty. Again, good reader copies. If you're interested in the reader copies? Uh, we can certainly set these aside for you. Certainly not. You know, not uh, 5.0s or anything, uh, but good reader copies. I've got $20 on that 130. 131 at, at mainmarion.com. Oh, now if Spidey has anything to say about it. Uh, but I've got $40 on that. I've got 132, the return of the Molten Man. Quite a few years since we've seen the Molten Man come back. But I've uh, got 132 on that. It's got John Romita artwork on the inside. We've got 30 on that copy. We've got 25 on that copy. Ross Andrew artwork comes again. I missed that copy when I was a kid, and then but had gotten that copy. And certainly enjoyed it nonetheless. But you got a John Romita cover on it. So we've got 25 on that issue there. We've got 60 on that issue there. 137. I've got $100 on this 137 here. Uh, I remember getting my copy. I can't remember exactly where it was, but we uh, uh, had a uh, we bought a uh, Irish setter that day in whatever the town in Ohio that we were, some here east of here. That while uh, my parents were talking to the owners and getting ready to get the get the puppy. I went and found a drugstore and found that copy of, of Amazing Spider-Man. Bought that one there. And also a Marvel Treasury Edition one was there with Spider-Man. But unfortunately, I did not have a dollar fifty to spend. I, I had enough to buy a 25 cent, well, a couple of 25 cent comics if I wanted to. And this was one of, this was the one comic I bought. Uh, 138 for $22. And 138 for $30. I think I bought my copy of this up in Perrysburg, Ohio. Uh, there's a 138 for $65. There's a 139 for $25. I may have bought that in Perrysburg as well. Um, there's a 139 for $11. This has a has a subscription crease in it. There's a 140. It's faded for $20. There's one for $40. There's one for $35. There's another one for $35. There's one for $30. So several 140s to choose from. 141, Return of Mysterio. But it's not the Mysterio that we thought it was, uh, as we come to find out a little bit later. Uh, but $40 on that there. I missed that copy when I was a kid, but I remember getting this copy. I was so happy to see Mysterio back. I like Mysterio. He's one of my favorite villains. That's why I do not like how he was... Uh, disrespected in the Spider-Man film. Just putting a fishbowl on him is not good enough for me. I want that costume looking like that costume. Not your Hollywood uh, uh, screw-ups. Uh, but we've got 35 on that issue at 140. 
and then we've got first appearance of the cyclone when i got my copy of this uh i ended up getting a coverless copy i didn't care there's i, I just wanted to, i missed it when it came out i was just happy to have a copy to read and then i got my regular copy lighter but this is 35 i've got 20 on that copy uh, number 40, the same 144, the same way when I got my 144 as a coverless copy. And it's like, holy crap, Gwen Stacy's back? Man, my world is like, jumping all over the place. Got a 155, and then you got, um, or got 55. 144, I've got 55 on the 144. The 145, I've got 24. The Scorpion, these are just great copies here. 146 for $22. $30, 148 for uh, 35 I missed these copies when I was a kid. I had to get them later when I was uh, could drive up to Fremont to go to the comic shop, the comic shop I ended up buying in 1985, and Nick had them. They are probably overpriced, but I didn't care. I needed Spider-Man. I wanted those Spider-Man issues. Uh, I've got 148 another 148 for 23 We've got a 149. One of my other videos I showed 149s, but got a whole lot of them here. Got one for 65, $50, $30, $30, $30. Uh, I think I got my 149 that summer. That's the, the summer I was in uh, Port Clinton and at the Kroger's beforehand. We went there before we went to the uh, the lake to the to the marina there. And while I was out in the water, I sliced my sliced my uh, my foot open on a clamshell or something, and had to get like 46 stitches. My first stitches, that thing bled. Let me tell you, lifted lifted my foot open, and that thing it was like the Red Seas uh, parted open. Or uh, when uh, when I lifted my foot open, my uh, foot from the from the water. Uh, got issue 150 for 50 dollars. We got 150 for 40 dollars. I got a 152 for 35. I got 153 for 20. 154 for 28. I bought my copy of that in Perrysburg at a uh, drugstore in the Country Charm Shopping Center. Uh, 154. That copy is 30 dollars. There's a 20 dollar copy. There's one for 35 on issue 155, 35. Jump to 160. This is eight dollars. Eleven dollars on this issue, 160, 161. That's eighteen dollars. Thirteen dollars on the 163. Twelve dollars on the 165. Eight dollars on the 165. Nine dollars on the one on this 166. We've got eleven dollars on that 166. Got $11 on that 166. This is interesting. I think these meant that these started going to direct to comic shops. 167 for $17. 117 and 167 for 20. 168 for 25. There's an $11 168, a $20 168, a $30 168, a $9 issue of 171 with Nova. 173 multi men's back. You got one, they got 16 on that, 15 on that, 173, 12 on that, 173. Return of the Rocket Racer and, and the front, uh, got the big wheel coming. Uh, got $20 on that issue of 183. Pull some more of these out, more 183. It's got another $20 copy, 17 on the 184, 185. We've got 13, 22 on the 186. 11 on the 186. We've got 13 on the 186. We've got 18 on the 187. 23 on the 187. Again, we've got some pretty nice copies on some of these higher priced uh, comics. Uh, 188 for 17. We've got $20 on that 188. 25 on the 188. Again, uh, no, uh, no. UPC code. I think those went to comic shops or were sold in three packs. Uh, 189 for 26. Oh, $19 on that 189. There's a 190 for $20. $25 on that 190. 
fifteen dollars on that one ninety one, eleven on that one ninety one, thirteen fifty on that one ninety one. Got seventeen on that one ninety two, thirteen on the one ninety two, fifteen on the one ninety two, nine on the one ninety two. We got seventeen on the one ninety three. 10 on the 193, 14 on the 193, $30 on the 195, second appearance of the cat, a black cat and her origin. We've got 25 on that 195. So we've got another 195 in here. I've got 18 on that 195 and 25 on that 195. I'm going to pause this, put those in, pull the rest of the amazings out. Okay, here's the rest of these from the, uh, from the blue bin. Uh, 196. For six dollars, one ninety-six for fourteen dollars. Remember, getting my copies in the mail part of my subscription. One ninety-eight for twenty dollars. Those are always great days to come home from school and see that brown envelope. Yeah, it's like yeah, comic books. Especially if, uh, if the day sucked at school or had a you know a surprise quiz or something, or or somebody you know gave me gave me a lot of crap because wasn't as popular as I am now. Yeah, I'm I'm popular now. Don't you know that? Uh, 198 for seventeen dollars. 198 for seventeen dollars. So two seventeens. Got 199, twenty dollars. Again, Mysterio. I was happy to see Mysterio. Got one down 98 or 99 for seventeen. Got a 200 for thirty-five dollars. That was a special day when I got that in the mail. 203 for eleven dollars. 206 for eleven dollars. 209 for twenty dollars. 216 for $8. 222 for $10. 228 for eight fifty. Two thirty-two for eight fifty. Loved reading those books. Roger Stern took over. Man, oh man, that book just became a great comic again. 223 for 10. And there's a two. Uh, the 223 is out of order. So let me put the 223 back in order. See this this has been a good video. It's helped me get, get comics back in order that are out of order. Alright, another 232. As you can see, this minute went to newsstands, this minute went to comic shops. But the one for $8.50, one for $9. 233 for $9. 234 for $9. 235 for $20. Then jumps to 251 for 2550. 253 for 950. 260 for 16. 265 for 35. First appearance of uh, Silver Sable. And she's not even on the cover of the book. 289 for 36. 298 for 80. Another 298 for 80. Another 298 for 80. And then I jump to Amazing Spider-Man Annual 10, 550 for the first appearance of the fly. It's got some water damage, I believe, on it. Yeah, some water damage. Uh, annual number 11 for $10. There's one for $12. Interesting. I've got two annual 11s, one at 10, one at 12. Don't have an annual 11 at 11. What's wrong with that picture? Uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual 12 for 15. Great John Byrne artwork on the cover. But next year, we got John Byrne artwork doing the inside, but Keith Pollard does the cover. What? What? But what a great comic that was. Again, direct market. Uh, I've got $15 on that one. I remember buying my copy of this at Nick's Comic Shop, at the Comic Shop. Uh, issue number 14. Frank Miller artwork for 25. We got another one for 25. So that's it on the Spider-Mans. And interesting enough, that Amazing Spider-Man might have been one of the only ones, early ones, they didn't put the Amazing Spider-Man on, even though it was the Amazing Spider-Man annual. Uh, but if you do, if you do like these videos, as always, be sure to, to like, be sure to subscribe, be sure to smash that bell for notification. And if you are interested in any of these comics, I do mail order. I do send off all over the place. Do not hesitate to contact me. Other than that, have a great uh, Thursday, October 3rd. Thank you.